Hey, how can I help you? Hi, I've got something that's gonna blow your mind. It's an Austrian miniature pinfire pistol. That's cool. Bam! <laughs> so where did you get this? I found it in a trinket box that my mom left me. So what is it, a gun? It is, it's a little miniature pistol. Two millimeter, the world's smallest pistol. Two millimeter? Probably do some damage to a stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I hate to break the news to you, but they still make these. Brand new in Austria. It's one of the smallest guns you can buy, as far as I know, that actually fires a cap. And as cool as it is, they're not worth that much money because they've been making them for right around 100 years and they still make them to this day. How about 15? Oh. <laughs> I would take the 20 and run. OK, I'll take 20. OK. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. What do we got here? We have some vintage glass target balls and a vintage clay target. Nice. Glass targets were only used for a couple decades, from the mid to the late 1800s. And since they were made to be destroyed, they're really rare now. And how much did you want for them? Well, that one's a little more rare. I think uh, probably 1500 for that one. Ooh. This one is more common of a ball, so probably $200. And this Legowski clay target, um, probably $200. This clay target looks so incredibly fragile. <laughs> it, it's going to get broken in my store. That scares me. Um, OK. For this one, this is sort of pricing me out of the market. The blue one would probably sell in my store. I mean, it's the right price point. That being said, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. How about 150? 100 and a quarter would be it, really. I I'll go 100 and a quarter. OK. And how can I help you? I have an 1830s percussion pistol. I'm looking to sell it. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a more modern firearm for home defense. <laughs> it's really neat. Yeah, I love guns from this era. So what do you know about it? I don't know too much about it. It's got the word Nook stamped here. It's a manufacturer that uh, I found on the internet back in Philadelphia back in the 1830s. The Nook, I never really heard of them. You have to realize, 1830s, a lot of gun manufacturers in the United States. The steel was easier to make. OK. The Industrial Revolution made it cheaper to make guns. Improvement in steel and manufacturing made it a lot easier for your average person to carry a pistol like this. A lot of antique pistols I get in here are made really fancy. They're not really made for personal protection. This one is definitely different. This thing was for personal protection, and it easily fit in your pocket. And that is a scary thing to look down. This gun is cool, but it really worries me. I've never heard of this maker. So buying this thing would definitely be a gamble. How much were you looking to get out of it? I think it's probably worth somewhere around 1200 OK. If it was in better shape, I could see it being worth 1200 bucks. I'll tell you what, I'll give you four and a quarter, and I shouldn't even go that high. How about 440 and I'll feel like I won? How about 430 and I'll feel like I won? How about 435 and we both win? OK, sounds like a deal. Right, go do the damn paperwork, Rick. Let's get it done. 